Now, over the years from inception till date, Tabitha has handled several cases um, ranging from harmful widowhood practices to child marriage to sexual and gender-based violence. However, a few cases have stood out for us. Uh, most importantly was a case reported to us in the year 2021 of a particular widow who was severely maltreated by her in-laws. Um, aside the maltreatment, every single thing that she owned, including that of her children, were taken away from them. And she was subjected to some of the most inhumane um, experiences that an individual on the go. Also, we've had a case of a domestic violence victim, which even had to go to court and we got victory in favor of that particular client. She was severely maltreated by her husband, by her in-laws, pushed out of the house with about four children with nowhere to turn to. But amazingly, Tabitha, with the help of other partners, were able to come to her rescue by providing several welfare services, including paying rent for a new apartment. At the moment, this particular client has, is divorced from the husband and a business has been opened up for her courtesy Tabitha Empowerment Center with support from its Healthcare Foundation. Now, working with protection officers um, in AMAC, most especially, Tabitha Empowerment Center undertakes sensitization programs at various communities. Now, um, we are able to get our protection officer to attend some of the sensitization programs where he provides more knowledge on issues of sexual and gender-based violence, the workings of the National Agency for Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, and of course, through more insight on the existing laws and how people can get support services should the need arise. Also, our protection officer has been very helpful to the organization owing to the fact that we are able to reach out to him at any time of the day when there are emergency cases and now he doesn't take us through the rigors of perhaps um, filling a petition form and all of that because some of these cases are emergency like i mentioned earlier what he does is we are able to quickly put a phone call across to him or perhaps send him an email and then these cases are attended to swiftly 